Thank you. Good morning to you. Now, headphones are being targeted as a major risk for young Australians who are suffering from a preventable loss of hearing. It comes as the World Health Organisation pushes for volume to be regulated in smartphones and in other devices, and also in public venues like concerts and sporting events. Audiologist from Hearing Choices, Lachlan Smith, joins us now from Melbourne. Lachlan, good morning to you. So many people we know use headphones in one shape or form. What risks do they actually pose? The main risk is that if you're just continually exposed to high levels of noise for a long period of time, it really just does catch up with you after years. And some people are using these headphones about 20 hours a week. Mm. And if they're using these headphones at high levels of noise, then it can incur a permanent hearing loss. And what are the symptoms of permanent hearing loss? Because often there is a ringing in the ears, but when do you know that it is actually more dangerous? Yeah, you're right. If you are exposed to a higher level of, of noise for a short period or even mild period of time, you can get that ringing in your ears. But a lot of people notice early stages hearing loss when they struggle to hear people in background noise or comment that people are mumbling where they once weren't. Mm. Now, many children also use headphones. You see them watching on their devices with headphones on. Is there actually a safe way to use them? Can you ensure that you can limit the volume? That's a really key part of the recommendations. So some of the recommendations are saying that the, the volume from the, from the headphones or the devices should be capped at a, at a safe li listening level. The other really important thing is to ensure that your device gives you a prompt if you are listening to it at a level that is dangerous. All right, well, it's great to get that advice and to really have a think, I suppose, about how we use headphones for all ages. Lachlan, thank you for your time this morning. No problem. And it's hard to know, isn't it, what is... What, what constitutes a safe level? And it's what hard might to know, be for you could be very different for me. And hard to know what level the kids have got it at. Exactly. I mean, you can have the, the headphones that he was mentioning that limit the actual volume they can get to, but mm. sometimes kids get around them as yeah. well. I think the rule of thumb is if you can hear it a metre away, then it's way too oh, loud. Yeah. yeah. One of our audio operators once said to me, you, sh you should also always let your ears go to the music and not let the music come to your ears, which I thought was good advice. OK. Hmm. It's very deep, isn't it? Yeah, it's a bit deep. Yeah. Wow. In fact, I'm just thinking that through. That's incredibly <laughs> profound. Pardon? <laughs> yeah. There you go. Hopefully some useful advice there.